I'm Marianne Houck here. Um, I'm in a festive mood, so I <laughs> do my video in front of my tree. What do you think? Uh, the kids decorated over the weekend, and um, Jordan has her little Toy Story peas on there. See the little, these little guys here? Aren't they cute? Anyway, and I got the fire going because it's freezing here. Of course, when I say freezing, I mean 40 degrees in California here, and you know, so that's freezing to me. Anyway, uh, this is video 86 of the 100 Day 100 Video Challenge, and today's topic is why and how the Internet Lifestyle Network trainings work. Okay, so I have two examples tonight of, the diff of two different trainings in the University of ILN and how and why they work. So the first one is Vincent's training about the you must get into people's hearts first. So um, I have an email list on AWeber that I broadcast to quite often and we were having a price increase for our GRN product, our uh, travel vacation package. So I was doing a campaign the last two and a half weeks, it ended last night, for the last two and a half weeks I did a broadcast email every single day and I originally when I used to email before this, um, you know, I thought I was doing a pretty good job emailing and, you know, writing my own copy and stuff. But I would get three to f at least three to four unsubscribes every day when I would send a, every time I sent a broadcast out. I'm like, okay, well, you know, everybody gets unsubscribed. So it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. But after I watched Vince's training a couple more times, because I have to watch something over and over again to retain it, um, I rewrote, an, I wrote a really long email, very heartfelt, and I got, I emotion, you know, the emotion part of, um, the people that I was, you know, sending it to, and um, I got into their hearts, basically. So what Vince taught, what he teaches in ILN. So I wrote this really long email, and then it, that was the first one I sent, the first day, and then every day after that, I just built onto that email, and then I would, I would keep that in the original email, and then just add on a new one um, every single day, and I did that for two and a half weeks. Okay, so... Um, so before when I was sending a broadcast out, I would get at least three to four unsubscribes every time, right? This time, after Vince's training, I sent this email out for two and a half, maybe a little bit more, maybe almost three weeks now, because we extended it um, once for the price increase, so I extended um, you know, my emails to the campaign. So at least two and a half to three weeks, I sent this email every single day. Um, I got a total for that whole time period, a total of four, four unsubscribes for the entire campaign. So, my point, watch the trainings, implement the trainings, listen to them, watch them over and over again, and do what these guys say, because they know what they're talking about. Okay, my second example is one of Mark Hoverson's trainings, and I'm drawing a blank here, I cannot remember which one it was, but I watched it a couple times, and it was the one where he says, um, what he actually uses in his life all the time is, he says to the person that he's trying to, you know, either do business with or something, he'd be like, if you were me, what would you do? And then he doesn't say anything. So I've been dealing with the car issue for about eight months now, that there was an incident back in April, I, I did it on video, or if anybody saw that, where I had a two gallon gas leak after I had the fuel pump replaced because they didn't seal, there was a pinch in the seal when they replaced it and they gave me the car back anyway without testing it. So I went to get gas the very next day and two gallons leaked out under my car. So luckily somebody saw me, they, they, made, you know, they ran over and I didn't get in the car and we pushed it over to the side um, and then you know all the towing and all that stuff afterwards, it's very inconvenient could have been a very, it was a potentially very dangerous situation. So I've been dealing with this dealership since then, and um, a couple months ago I started negotiating with them again on what they were going to do for me because my lease was coming at, to an end in about three days from now. So I needed to trade the car in and I wanted to upgrade to a better car. So, but I didn't want to, I wanted them to do something for me, so I, I wrote the GM and I told him, and I said, you know, I wrote exactly what happened and everything else. And I said, at the end, I said, if you were me, what would you do? So, and then I just shut up, right? 
So then he sent it off to a couple of people, and they're calling me. And so I've been in negotiations with with this dealership for a couple months now. And today I got my new car, the one I wanted, and we started out at a lot higher payment than I'm paying now, than I'm going to be paying in 45 days. <laughs> um, so all because I just said, and I said over and over again, every time they would come back with a quote um, that I didn't like and I thought it was too high, I would, I would write the GM or leave a voicemail and I would say, if you were me, what would you do? Very simple, right? So today I picked up the new car, turned my old one in, and um, got you know what I wanted, basically. So the trainings work, people. I have I'm gonna be honest. I have every single training in the university, okay? Um, but I haven't watched them all yet, and but I will be. So these ones in particular, I have watched, and I've watched man probably half of them in there. But these two in particular, I'm talking about, they work. So as long as you use them, so you gotta you know watch them a few times. You gotta watch them several times. And I mean, if you're like me, you gotta watch something and read something several times to even retain any of it. And a lot of times I may have to go back and refer to it again, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, but use them. They're back there for a reason. They're in the back office in the Island University. Um, you know, definitely start with The Apprentice and watch the Viral Five, the, all those steps in there, because that's going to get you off and running. So that's my video for today. I hope everybody's having a great day and a great night, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.